All right, hey, it's Mustang Stampede. I'm going to be checking out and reviewing or showing you this shooting target gallery that I picked up yesterday. Um, I reviewed this stake in the ground style shooting uh, hostage man video, and uh, now I'm going to be doing this one. I really like this setup. Um, the plates here. are A36 steel. Um, these are rated to go from a 22 long rifle to a 9mm handgun ammunition. What I like about this whole setup here is it's totally modular. Um, if you see this Carter pin right here, you can take that pin out, slide this pull out. You just got a washer on this side so it can't come all the way out, but you can slide that out. You can drop out all these targets and switch out for one big gong or you know whatever whatever you want to do um, if you decide you want to shoot um, AR 400 steel or AR 500 steel you simply pull the bar out switch out your plates to the desired um, steel that you want to use uh, slide the slide it back in put your Carter pin back in uh, it sets on these two pulls here um, I can lift up on these even with these uh, connected uh, for quick transport um, I can lift it right up out of this base here. As you can see, this base has a nice carry handle right here. It has a remote reset, which I will show you. Um, but you can take, and basically, you can just pick this whole piece up here. And I'm going to go ahead and set it out of the way here, just for this, just to show you how easy it is to uh, change out or make, uh, you know, like a modular system or whatnot. So then you're left with a base. Out front here, you have a Carter pin on this side. You can take that pin out, slide the pull all the way out, and change one of these guys out for one of the hostage guys here. Which again, if you remember from the stake in video, the hostage guy registers a hit, then you got your hostage head here. So you shoot the heart, then it becomes the hostage head. Actually that you know, this would be your bad guy's head. You know, hiding behind his red hostage. So, I'll show you how quickly you can swap those out. Um, let me back up a little bit here. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see this pretty good. These plates have these plates here. The A36 steel plates have set screws that have been welded to the frame here. This allows you to adjust the downward angle or like a slope angle um, because you want to be able to make sure you register a good hit so you know this guy's kind of leaning towards me quite a bit but if I was just to push out on him a little bit and set that screw at the bottom now I'd be able to use this for a 22 long rifle or maybe even 22 short um, you know you can adjust that screw to almost a tipping point that way when it gets a hit it slams back and as you can see right here this back base plate is protected by heavy duty rubber right there so, um, you know, that, that kind of avoids the wear and tear on your base here. So I'll go ahead and knock him down. What's the coolest thing about this is, is, of course, since it's snowing out again today, I just decided that I'd do this video inside. And then, you know, I will shoot it and do another review at, when I'm shooting it. But I have some 550 cord tied off to the remote reset here in the house just to kind of show. Um, you know, you could run this on the ground back to your shooting bench or wherever you want to be at. And um, you'll simply, because it will have, you'll stake it to the ground in the four corners right here. And you would be able to just remote reset your guy. So it just, it's going to be a little rough here on the carpet. Let's see if I can get it here. You simply pull up, oh, pull up on him. I'll go ahead and just reset this. And then you got, you've reset your targets. So, again, you just shoot them down. Um, if this was, if this frame was bolted down to something, it'd be much easier. You just set them up and let the remote, uh, remote reset bar um, go back into its position. Um, when I have this outside, I'm probably going to set it up on um, probably like a three foot table and have it lag bolted in and then I'll cover this portion here with sandbags that way nothing hit nothing is hitting my handles my or 
you know my frame here the carry handle here so this is a pretty nice setup because it's modular um, these plates can be switched out quickly from A30, A36 steel to AR400 or AR, AR500 steel and again you can always switch out one of these guys here and I'll attempt to show you here I don't know how far back I got to be to be able to show you um, how simple it is to take and change something out on this for instance this is just an A36 hostage hostage uh, target and excuse me for sniffling here I got something is uh, allergy wise is really messing with my nose today so but anyway you just simply take your carter pin here pull it out slide the bar out here on this side we'll go ahead and lay you lay the targets down it's a lot easier go ahead and just slide it out now you can see that I have this yellow yellow target free and just for video purposes we'll say that we're swapping in an AR 500 plate um, because someone has showed up with 45 ACP ammo or something and want to shoot um, just this hostage man so for this video purposes this one's AR 500 which it's only A36 you just set it in place now on this one it's slightly different I got a screw here that's slightly longer than these ones here um, put a washer in set the bar back in place put the carter pin back in put this up thread the bolt in a little bit farther there put the washer on the back and then it just needs to be hand tight but as you can see there hopefully you can see this this is what you got now that steel target there when he gets a hit it's not going to do anything this will stay stationary so again you can see how quickly you can modify this setup so um, again even with I don't know how good it works here but I think that you can still remote remote set your two yellow targets and leave the the red hostage one um, stationary so there you go now you'd be able to shoot these guys hit that let's see if I can get it to well you get the gist there I can't hit it and make it stay up but it would slap up now that would become a uh, a bad guy head holding the red hostage so and then you can always again take your gongs or your hanger swinging hanger targets and they go in those holes there you can see there they've been notched to go in right there so um, if you have any questions about these targets um, feel free to leave me a comment um, I will be shooting these later so if you want to see them being shot uh, make sure you subscribe and um, I will leave all the contact information if you want pricing or any other information about um, the different style target setups that um, you can get I met these guys at a gun show and uh, they're real they're real nice guys and uh, they're, they make quality products so I'll leave all their information for you at the end of the video as always thanks for watching